Bodybuilders don't even have to lift weights. Hey everyone, Elise Riley here. Welcome to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, you know that today I'm going to be talking about bodybuilding and what it means and also what's involved when preparing for a bodybuilding competition. That's up next. So if we type bodybuilding definition into Google, it says that it's the use of progressive resistance exercise to control and develop one's musculature. So basically, it's anyone that hits the free weights after school, anyone who may be doing plyometrics such as uh, squat jumps or their footy netball training, um, anyone that decides to start running after school or after work because they want to lose weight for summer. You guys are all bodybuilders. Bodybuilders don't even have to lift weights. When I say that I'm competing, everyone thinks that I'm going to be huge like Arnie. And so I want to explain the difference between bikini sports model and figure women's bodybuilding is that bikini, bikini, bleh, bikini competitors usually have a more fuller look. They have more body fat and uh, less muscle definition. To emphasize that beach babe look, fitness sports models are similar, but they have a much more leaner look with a six pack being a must have. They'll have more of a sporty vibe as they would have more muscle definition than a bikini model. Though figure and women's bodybuilding competitors are judged on their size, symmetry, um, their muscle definition. And again, they would be even more leaner than a bikini or a sports model with an average body fat of 6 to 10%. When the recommended healthy body fat percentage for women is 22, 20 to 22%. Clearly, we can see now that this sport is extreme. These extreme bodies aren't achieved through going to the gym every day for five hours, non-stop, cardio, cardio, treadmill, weights. Trust me, I know. Like, Depending on your physique and what category you're going for, um, cardio will become part of your daily schedule. Luckily for me, I don't have to do it every day. I usually try hit each muscle group throughout the week and add in a little bit of cardio in there as well. But unfortunately, to achieve the bodybuilding look, you can't eat pizza and cake and work out and be all sweet. The body is 70% what you eat and 30% how you train. Staple foods that competitors will eat are fish, egg whites, sweet potato, um, chicken, turkey, veggies, and lots and lots of water. They'll also, um, Depending on your prep and like what you're allowed to have, they may also drink BCA supplements or protein drinks. But beware, getting to a really low body fat percentage is pretty damaging to your metabolism, as the metabolism enables proper function of the body's physical and mental state. Signs of a low metabolic rate uh, could be things like having a low heart rate or low body temperature, which is why I have to wear like seven layers to cool because I'm so cold all the time. So you're probably thinking now, why am I doing this? But I've grown up with it. Uh, my dad's always been in charge backstage of the Nava WFF. Victorian Championships and ever since I was little I've been going. I've grown up around gym and I've been lucky enough to fall in love with the idea of health and fitness. The idea that exercise can improve you physically and mentally and 
just make you happy. I chose to do this competition for fun and to see how far I could actually push myself. Throughout the past 14 weeks, I've learned so much about my body and what it likes, what it doesn't like. I've learned how to prep meals and I feel as if I've learned a lot of organizational and discipline skills through prepping my meals each week. So that's the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this little sit down and you learn a couple of things about bodybuilding and bodybuilding competitions. If you have any questions or feedback, don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.